Civilization has been cradled on the banks of rivers since human settlement began. Famous rivers like the Mississippi and the Nile have for centuries been a life source for the communities around them. To protect that, scientists and engineers in China are developing solutions to help combat drought and provide clean water to millions of people. The importance of water is widely recognized in our culture, immortalized in music and literature, and more generally for the economic lifeline they offer to generations of the same family. The Yellow River represents the home of Chinese civilization as a fertile basin for settlement like other waterways function around the world. In modern history, the Huai River between the Yellow and Yangtze rivers has been used by Chinese experts to create a north-south divide along the Qingling Huaihe line. As a source for sustainability, access to clean water is critical but still a privilege on a planet where basic needs are not always met. China's major rivers are a life-transforming resource for 1.4 billion lives, but geographically they supply the southern regions with ample water, while the north struggles with a deficit. Beijing and nearby Tianjin and Hebei, large and important areas in their own right, are among China's big economic performers, yet they too experience periodic water shortage. To turn this around, a massive south-to-north water transfer began life in 2002. Using a series of canals, scientists studied the amount of water that could be safely diverted from cities and regions up in the country's north. It's estimated that already 13.5 million people have more access to clean water because of the project. And by 2050, officials hope to build capacity to transfer 44.8 billion cubic meters of water per year, about half the amount of water California uses annually. There's still a lot of work to be done. The South to North project is among the most costly and ambitious in history. Fresh water has reached Tianjin, and now the goal is to expand that access. As our world changes and as urban populations grow with them, chances are China's water project won't be the only global effort to conserve and better utilize our natural resources. And as always, we'll follow up on this story and update you along the way. I'm James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.